it! <laughs> I'm touching the lens right now. You see, I always love those kind of shots, like Peter McKinnon, Casey Neistat. They all use very wide-angle lenses. And I always thought that you would need a full-frame camera with a, I don't know, 16mm or maybe even wider to achieve that kind of look. But it turns out that you that you don't. You don't actually need that. Casey used like a 10 to 18 from Canon and a cheapo 70D for like a long time. The reason I love that look is because there's so much to look at in a wide-angle lens. In a shot like this, yes, I have the ability to zoom in and, and compress on my face and I got a lot of shallow depth of field. That, that's good, that looks good, I love that. But there's something so intimate about being like right next to the camera lens and still seeing like whatever is going on. And I love that. Currently I am actually saving up money because I want to buy a new camera. I want to go full frame. I'm a photographer as well and I love the full frame look and I love the full frame low light performance. It's just great. I love it. It's good for me. I love shooting low light. So why just not get a fucking full frame and then I don't know, like a wide angle, angle lens because I'm going to I'm going to full frame eventually anyway, you know. The thing is the body does not do the job. It doesn't. It's fact, we all know that it's all about the lenses. And if I get this lens now, that would make me shoot more with the camera I already have? I don't know. It seems like a good deal, right? What is this hole for? This lens is in pretty good conditions. Jesus. Alright, this lens is set to 20mm. I'll set this to 20mm. I will compare the images right now. I'm just gonna just gonna pull it off. Just like one sigma for another. All right, this is 20 mils. Um, I don't know, it looks a bit different. The depth of field is not gonna be as shallow, obviously. I already noticed that this thing is pretty loud. Uh, let me let you, hear, let you hear it. Yeah, fucking... Wait, it looks like I'm so far away. Look at my tiny head. I can I can touch the lens. What? <laughs> I'm literally touching it. I'm touching the lens right now. Oh fucking, let's go. Oh my god, this is amazing. I gotta go shoot something. One thing that's a bit cringe about this camera is that it does not have image stabilization and that is a bit of a bummer, but considering how white this is and how overexposed the fucking sky is, I don't think it's too bad, but I'll have to see in post. Let's do some photos. That's a rock. Be gone. Look, we have, we have, now we have a rock. And now we have a huge, ginormous rock. That's pretty uninteresting, to be honest. We've got this... Rock that looks like a penis. 
Uh, let's find something else, because that rug is not that interesting, to be honest. All right, if I went missing, uh, you know why I drowned? Let's test for close focusing while we're on it. That's pretty good. And of course it starts to rain, because why shouldn't it? You can actually get quite a bit of background separation with this thing. That's, that's kind of crazy. I mean, look at that. This is 20 mil. Going to 10. That's not too shabby, actually. And in a note right here, I'm very tired, but I wanted to be transparent with you guys. This lens has some flaws, definitely. It's not perfect by any means. Let me show you, for example, this, all right? This is a cool picture, you know? It's, it's cool, look, this is in focus, the rest is not. Uh, fine, looks good, looks, looks, looks all right. I would say, oh wow, what a nice picture of a stupid ass straw. I don't know what I was thinking when I shot that, but uh, it, it doesn't matter. I didn't even enable lens correction for this one. Look at this. The thing that I don't like is chromatic aberration. And sadly, oh boy, this this lens is not good with chromatic aberration. I'm very sorry. It is just not. Let's go to this one, for example. This is a scenario where I think this lens will shine, which is anything kind of architectural. And when I zoom in here, you can still see this, even though I got chromatic aberration uh, removal on. That's hefty. Ooh, boy. In the corners, there's <laughs> this. Look at this. This is so distracting. Look at this. Oh my god. I didn't even see this. Ooh, damn. All right, this is on 10 millimeters. And oh boy. <laughs> yep. Chromatic aberration is wild on this thing. It is incredible. Keep that in consideration, please, before buying this lens. But, you know, this is the before, and this is the after. So, I'm um, just saying... Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty bad. God, I usually hate... I hate chromatic aberration. Look at this, look at this bicycle dude. He's just... He, he's not on a bicycle, he's on a futuristic bicycle with green outlines. That's insanity. On 20 millimeters, it's totally fine. Uh, just keep it in mind when you go wide. I'm probably going to do a poll soon on Instagram where I'm like, yo, what about this one? Do you want this as a lot or do you not want this as a lot? Because I actually had someone recently ask me to finally release that lot pack and I'm like, brother, okay, chill. I am not good at sorting Lightroom presets. This is just a bunch of mess. Oh yeah, this one looks epic. I did that? I did that myself? Oh, I'm so good. Damn. Wow. <laughs> and if you do want to use this as a vlogging lens, I think it's more than capable, a bit shaky. But if you do have a Canon camera or anything else that's adapted, that does have image stabilization inbuilt, I think you're gonna be quite happy.